Hi guys, I welcome you all to the next lecture in our anthropology series. Uh, so guys, anybody who has not watched the weekly answer writing, so please go watch that. And I want you to make that initiative also interactive. I want you guys to post the PYQs you want to discuss. So next week, uh, if you guys post some questions which you want to discuss, I can take, I will take them up. So please do tell me, please make the session interactive. And now let's get uh, back with our today's lecture. So we had already completed till Julian Steward. And today we are going to do the last uh, thinkers, so to say in this uh, new evolutionism, that is Marshall Salins and Almon Service, right? So these uh, two were also the students and colleagues of Julian, Julian Seward and Leslie White. Okay, so that is why you will see a lot of these two people's theories were related to the works of Julian Steward and Leslie White. And also they tried to fill in those gaps that were provided by the uh, provided by Julian Steward and Leslie White. Right. So uh, let's see. Uh, this was the book which was written by uh, Charlene and Service, it's Evolution and the Culture. In this, they tried to give their own theory or you can say the modified version of what was presented by uh, Julian Steward and Leslie White, right? So, uh, they gave a concept of or methodology for their study was general and specific evolution. So what they said, they said that there is a general evolution and there is a specific evolution, right? So their methodology was general and specific evolution. I'll tell you how. So if you can see this tree, this was, you can use this as a metaphor or as a way to explain what they meant by general and uh, specific ev evolution. If you look at the trunk of the tree, which is one for all these branches or different branches of the tree. The trunk is one, right? This is what they believed was general evolution. And then all these branches, which are uh, finally getting, you know, this, uh, you know, in different directions, they are evolving in different directions to each other would be specific evolution, right? So uh, if you remember the concepts, uh, that were used by wait let me change the color yes so uh, what did Julian Steward talk about Julian Steward gave his cultural ecology concept and he believed in multilinear evolution right and what was Leslie White's methodology it was more of a universal universal evolution right so what Marshall uh, Salin and uh, this uh, service did, he com they kind of combined the two, two theories because they said what Julian Stewart is saying is also right, what Leslie White is saying is also right. So what Leslie White called as universal evolution, Charlene and service called it general evolution. Okay, and what was multilinear evolution was called specific evolution by Charlene and service. Now I'll tell you how. He said, of course, you know, in general evolution, what is going to happen? Of course, you are going to progress from lower forms into higher forms. That means, of course, uh, they, they are going to be stages from lower, uh, you know, where there is lower technology, lower energy harness to higher forms. That means, up from, for example, a hunting gathering society, to a cultivating economy, to a civilization where there is iron, metallurgy, script, technology. Matlab, so this is what you are surpassing the lower forms of energy with higher forms. So he is saying, of course, this is going to happen and this is going to happen across. That means universally, this is a general evolution which will happen. But along with that, there is going to be a specific evolution, which is that while surpassing these lower forms to higher forms, you are going to uh, find many diversity across cultures, across geographies, across environments. And in those 
differences or diverse culture, geography, environments, you are going to adapt through modifications, which was somewhere down the line the concept of cultural ecology also put forward by Julian Stewart. So they were saying general bhi hoga, surpassing lower forms to higher forms of uh, you know uh, progress and then taking into account the diversity of culture, environments, ecology through adaptive modification, which they call as specific evolution, right? So they tried to bridge in the gap between both, both the, uh, you know, uh, uh, both new evolutionists, Julian Stewart and Leslie White, and they kind of gave a very fine balance of how you should see a general and a specific evolution. Right. So, their theory is also called as a biosocial approach or they adopted, you can say adopted biosocial approach because their concept was very, very, uh, you can say, uh, they used very diverse things to explain their theory. For example, it was called biosocial because, uh, you know, they used biological concepts like organic evolution, parallelism and convergence. I'll tell you how. And then they used the uh, energy theory of white and cultural ecology of Stewart. Now I'll tell you what. See, if I have to say what is specific, uh, you know, general evolution, I would say from Paleolithic to Mesolithic to Neolithic. This would be, let's create a divert. Okay. So now here we write specific evolution. When we talk about general evolution, this surpassing lower form to higher form becomes the general evolution. But if we have to talk about specific evolution, if we take only Neolithic, okay? so you know the Neolithic sites, you know, Burzoham, if I take an example of Burzoham, Burzahom, yeah. So the point is, uh, we studied that the, the Neolithic culture of Burzuham, which is a part you can say in the Kashmir region ka part it is, it was very different from the Neolithic of rest part of India. Or you can say when it comes to Indian, Indian culture, you know Indian culture of any Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic was very different from European culture because European Paleolithic there were there were bone tools also but India was one such culture which only used the stone tools it didn't did not have uh, very many bone tools right so what is this when we compare anything in within one uh, within one parameter if we if we are taking the megalithic sites of uh, the iron uh, bronze age right the megalithic sites of South India were a very different culture from North India, right? So megalithic sites were very different. So even though it is the same period we are talking about, but even then sites may differences are there. So what is that? That is their cultural adaptation to that environment, right? Neolithic mein, Burzuha mein, there was pit dwelling, right? Because wahan pe, there was cold climate. Right. So, you know, you also adapt to the specific environments. For example, Eskimos, Eskimos, they they have adapted to very, very cold climatic conditions, which are not possible in other places. So the, the way they live, we can't live in the we, we can't live the same way at the equator. So even though the periods can be classified as one, they could be there could be a general evolution like Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic, but then every site is very different from each other. When we look at different sites in the same uh, time also, there's so much of difference. So this was an example of general evolution. And he used, uh, yeah, sorry. And they also used the biological concepts. For example, I'll tell you. Let me just uh, rub this. If we have to take examples of uh, biological evolution, even that you can see. See, the point is, if we general evolution, mein bole, we can say Australopithecus. Then, then you can say Homo erectus. Beach mein, there were 
some others i am skipping them then you you can say there was homo sapien like that right so i am just giving you an example right but if we have to talk about specific evolution then i will say not australopithecus i would say australopithecus boisoi right australopithecus uh, gracile right gracile and robustus see usme bhi then there is paranthropus right so we can classify them as gracile robustus then different categories right if we if if we have to take a talk about homo erectus we can say pecking man right we can say java man then there was homo hidalbergensis also if we have to talk about homo sapiens right we can talk about cro magnon we can talk about grimaldi right so this is how specific evolution goes general evolution mein we are just going to a higher form right there is no classifications there there is no phylogenetic classifications that we are doing we are only looking at a larger picture but we but when we are talking about specific evolution we are also looking at the phylogenetics we are also looking at very uh, you know nitty gritties of it for example homo sapien then we are talking about cro magnon grimaldi like that right if we are talking about australopithecus we are talking about gracile we are talking about robustus right so this is how uh, the difference was captured by general evolution uh, difference was captured in general evolution and specific evolution and it was both used in the theory so biocultural because because they not only talked about uh, uh, social aspect that means the social evolution they also captured the bio uh, biological aspects like these these kind of concepts were also used and then in social part also they talked about the general evolution from jaise paleolithic to mesolithic like that and also the specific evolution of the places for example difference between europe ki mesolithic sites and indian mesolithic sites right then the difference between indian Uh, no, north indian mesolithic si sites no, so, south indian mesolithic sites so these were all the concepts that was covered by them right so uh, they talked about they talked about specific evolution which requires phylogenetic classifications i told you and then general which does not require any phylogenetic emphasis but it is only talking about general stages of development right then they also considered both evolution and diffusionism they said ki diffusion is also important not only evolution but diffusion is also happening and it is the diffusion only that ultimately causes similarities among cultures right of course up to day a lot between india and uh, british culture is same because a lot of diffusion has happened uh, similarly globalization today has created similar kind of cuisines music choices lifestyle choices around the world what is that that is just give and take between cultures so that means diffusion ultimately causes similarities among cult cultures and they uh, acknowledge this fact right so this was the whole concept and then isme inhone they also use the parallelism and convergence concept uh, for, wo, that we studied in organic evolution when there is known ancestor and they develop parallelly but in different you know parallelly they develop right and then there is unknown ancestors but they develop similar things right similar characteristics due to certain environmental adaptations or requirements okay to stay in that environment so that was the whole thing if you if you have not studied the parallelism and convergence you should go back to the chapter of organic evolution watch that concept because it is just for reference here you just need to understand that he they use the biological concepts also like the phylogenetic uh, aspect i told you like that right so their theory was basically a blend of white's universal evolution and julian steward's multilinear evolution and they named it as general and specific evolution for example uh, what would be general evolution if if anything is growing from this there'll be a general evolution like this from lower stage to higher stage 
evolution will keep on happening and then there will be specific evolutions in different directions also right so that will be even though they are emanating from one thing but then they, they are di diverging in their own ways so this will be the specific evolution this you can call the general evolution and this you can call the specific evolution right so this was the concept i hope you have uh, you guys have got the 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 gist of the topic and uh, we have completed this topic tomorrow we'll start with the new new uh, school that is i guess cultural materialism we'll start with that if you guys like the lecture please guys like share and subscribe and please guys do support thank you so much